Hey, y'all sure you want more of your bourbon on this? Hey, look. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bourbon in the Barn. I'm your host, Bert. Always with me, Sunday Gay. Special guest, special friend right here, Charlie Brute. Been, oh, man, we worked a lot of places <laughs> together. <yeah. laughs> we'll, get, we'll get into that. Uh, oh, shit. I got to turn the light on tonight. Turn the light on, make it look pretty. Did you even play? I didn't play. <laughs> you bring the ring light out, you fucking plug it in, Gary, you idiot. Well, I didn't want to plug it in to waste a light. It wasn't on. It's probably going to be on now. I could like turn it in. You know, you put a light bulb in. <laughs> you know, staring right up at it. I'm not watching it or plug it in. He made it work. It's still not. There it is. There it is. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, we, we, we got here. You're passed out on the couch. Yeah, he's already passed out. He's already been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is. But, uh, yeah, as you know, uh, I'll go ahead and do the disclaimers and all that. Uh, if you're under 21, we don't condone any underage drinking. Uh, as you know, we're raw and uncut, so if you say something stupid on here, we don't edit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you, you're just stuck with it. Uh, yeah, we're sponsored by Eagle Liquor, 6852 Middle Valley Road and North Shore Liquor. There you go. A uh, few things. Uh, we want to give a shout out to Handy Andy. I mean, I called down there. They had the shirt ready. I was running a little behind. I had to work today, which sucked. But I had a lot to do. We love you guys, man. Do they do a great job. And I'm telling you, if you ever need something screen printed or something like that, they will take care of you. Uh, it's flea market. The only thing is they're only open on Saturday and Sunday. Um, yeah, but I mean they're great and they do a great job and they're always they've done everything from this sign to all our 50th anniversary. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Alex. He does really good uh, designing all this stuff. I mean that was his my idea, his design. I mean it's just a team effort. And then you got Gary that doesn't do shit. So oh, okay. they gets drunk. I had to leave him in the woods last week. He was yeah. naked and alone, that naked and afraid. In the light. Hey, he didn't plug in the light. The simple thing, Gary. You wouldn't plug it in the fucking light. I ain't shit. Thank you for that. What for yes. leaving you in the woods? Oh, yeah. oh, you'd be fine, man. It's nice out. I mean, it's yeah, fucking yeah, it's, it's, the way. No, look at his leg. Did you still scratch that, Gary? Yes. Yeah, Where'd y'all go? No, no, he went, no, we went to Walmart and he pissed me off. He pissed me off here and then he really pissed me off at Walmart and I told him to walk here. So he walks through the woods behind Petco. Instead of getting on 153 and walking up, he walks into the woods. <laughs> Lost his phone. Got a new phone though, so, you yeah, know, time for an upgrade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, love you, time. Gary. I love you too. Sometimes buddy. you just wear me out, bro. Well, you wear me out too, so Yeah, hey, well, I drive, so I can wear you out. When you start driving, you, you get I, I can wear you out less. <laughs> All right. Uh, Anywho. Charlie's a good friend, man. We worked together. We bartended at, what, three places together? Milano, Side and Lace. Diamonds and Lace. Yeah, babe, whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, now he's a chef extraordinaire at Southern Restaurant. What's the address on that? 7714. There you go. Them, go man. see them. I, it, and I'm telling you, it's not just to go. They're locally owned. You know, small it's business, help them out. But the food's good. I, I go there every chance uh, I get. Now they serve breakfast till two, so that's perfect for me. <laughs> he gets mad at me. I get there at like one ten. I'm like, hey, let me get uh, two eggs. And, you know, <laughs> he's like, eat breakfast. I'm like, hey, you're the ones offered it for two. I mean, well, you don't either. What's the nice? Oh yeah. Uh, even Ellie. <laughs> hey, my phone, man. It's hot, hot set, bro. It's hot set. We're coming to you today with uh, Bullet Ten Year. I haven't had it, Gary hasn't had it, and I'm pretty sure Charlie yeah, hadn't had it. Hey, you don't drink much bourbon, do you? You're going to be Jaeger guy? Yeah, I wouldn't drink much Jaeger anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, so funny, Gary. Um, yeah, as you know, we do these three ways. We do them neat, on the rocks, and the cola. The cola. All right. So, uh, Charlie, how long have you been? You've been at Southern Restaurant about 10 years. Since, since, well, ever since Fireside. Yeah, so 12 Damn, years. yeah, 12 years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, God rest your soul, Jimmy. Uh, he, he he's the worst and best owner in, in one person. <laughs> I mean, even, here, I'm going to put it to you the easiest way I know. He was the nicest asshole I've ever yeah, worked for. Yeah, he was. I, but, I, I mean, you, the, <laughs> you know, the thing, the only part I really didn't like, and I liked working for Jimmy and I liked working for Tanya, and was the not getting paid an hourly. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that know, was a little rough. But at the same time, we all agreed to it. Yeah, we did so, agree to it. I well, mean, we're making three hundred dollars a night. I wasn't worried about the two thirteen or five dollars yeah. an hour. Uh, Shut up, Chris. Oh. All right. Let's get the nose on this. Ugh. What that bullet? I've never heard of it. I've seen that. But well, you know, it's funny you say that about Jimmy because, like, when I first started working for Jimmy and Sandra, Jimmy wanted me dead. He, he wanted me dead. Everybody did. He yeah. hated me. He did me too, man. One time I took out like a pizza, and it wasn't up to his standard. I, they said, "Here's your pizza." You know, he had the Mexicans that work for him. He's like, "Here, they're like, here's your pizza." I took it out, and he was walking by when I set it down, and he like grabbed me. He's like, "Come here." Don't take a pizza up that looks like that. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, fuck, oh, man. Yeah, but you know, now being on the other side of it, I working get it. in the kitchen, like, I, I, I totally you don't understand. Do Something you're not proud of. Now, yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, if you're, oh, you're not going to eat it, you shouldn't send it. Yeah, he was. Oh, like, oh, you know, and the oh. thing about it is, like, Jim, like, he knows this, you know this as well as I do. Jimmy can make you a grilled cheese, and yeah. that motherfucker was the best Dude. grilled cheese you've ever yeah. eaten in your life. One time at Milano's, he was like, Duck was out of town, and it was just me working, and I was like, uh, I said, uh, hey man, I was like, he goes, you want a hot ham and cheese? I've had 10,000 hot <laughs> ham and cheese. He made that, and I, I, it was the best hot ham and cheese I'd ever had in my life. Yeah. And I was like, how you make something that that simple, that good? And it was, I was like, man, I was like. You know, with a mixture of love and hate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, but I mean, he it was even just like, when he was, at, when he was in Milano's, if he was, if he was back there cooking, Always like, the lasagna. That, oh my God! Raging Cajun. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, like, aside from my wife, aside from my wife, who makes the best lasagna, and I don't say that just because she's my wife. Ellie, it yeah. is. That was the that was my favorite lasagna until I married her, and wow. that was a long time ago. I had yeah. that. And, yeah. I mean, he was just proud. He was proud of like he liked cooking. Well, let me see. And he liked other things. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all do. You can't really say nothing. All right, let's get this first run on this. Bullet tin here. What's the proof on that? Uh, the proof is... Probably 90. Is proof? 45. Oh, 90 proof. Yeah, 90. Yeah, what do you got to do? Yeah, we're used to 90. Isn't when you get these high proofs, you get to make them on spray in the woods. I didn't make it. I wasn't the good news for y'all is y'all ain't got no windows in the barn. Oh, we gotta do it. Yeah, well, there's shit. Don't believe you. You're gonna tell me where it's at? Well, no, but he thinks it. That looks good, man. What? The hole. Yeah, let me just put a door over it. It's not bad, though. If you got a wall put in a window, we can take it anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. We got it. Oh, uh, let's tell them how we do the right thing. Yeah, uh, we do it. After we do it this way, here you go get some ice, we'll do it on the rock. And when you do this, you give a ranking of one through five. It can be 1.9, it can be 2.10, I mean 2.10, 2.7, 3.4, yeah, we'll or it can three. be just four, or it can be three, or it can be five, it can be two, it can be one. It's whatever you feel like. You whatever you feel like. And I know you don't drink a lot of bourbon, but yeah. <laughs> it's hard to do that. Me and Gary have drank a lot of different bourbon. Well, I mean, this is oh, what, yeah, this yeah. is what show, 56? 56. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, because Megan was 55. Yeah. No, what? No. Uh, Cody was 55. This you're is 57. 50? You're 50, 57. Is it? Megan was that. I wasn't Megan. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, either way. Anyways. You'll see it when you watch, when you watch this. You'll see what it is. It's a buck, it's a buck ton. Fuck, man. I mean, I feel like we need to switch seats or something. Oh, no, 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 no. The only time I put him in the middle, the only time I put him in the middle was whenever uh, Derek Updegrad was here and when yeah, Rob was here. Big dude or something. Yeah. And Rob, he, that was the worst time of Gary's life. Ooh. Ooh. I love I'm you, Rob. Sure we had Sven or anybody here. Uh, Sven lives well, in Johnson he, City. Yeah, we had so Wayne here. We had Wayne. Uh, we had Derek. We. Uh, Spin, uh, we'll, we'll get to we'll yeah, get to Johnson City. I know you got three kids. It'd be harder for you to get here we'll than for us to come up here, but we'll come up here. We'll do it on. Yeah, we've done a lot on location. We've done a Nashville. Uh, what did you choose? Old friends. Old friends. Yeah. Old friends? yeah. And you were. Yeah. It's got a heavy nose to it, man. But I'm not nervous. Not bad. That's pretty smooth. I might pull it anyway. 
somebody. Yeah, made. we couldn't get. Hey, we couldn't get that for a little while because after that show Yellowstone, because that's what they drink on it. It just blew up, man. Yeah. We, people were like, rah, 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 rah. and I'm like, look, man, I, I don't know what to do. We order it, it don't come in. For somebody who doesn't drink bourbon really regularly, that was actually smooth. Yeah, that was pretty good. Like yeah. For a ninety, that is yeah. bad. The burn goes away almost immediately. Yeah. Not when you pee, though, does it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got a yeast infection. I do. <laughs> I don't hit first in one. What do you got three kids, four kids? Uh, I got a pile of kids. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and I've seen them from all the ages, I guess. Yeah. Hard to believe Hannah will be 18 next year. I know, man. God. Yeah, 18 year old? She'll she be 18 in March. 18 next year. She, she didn't want to call me I'm she, 41. She, she, she didn't want to call me Bert. Bert? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, I'd be 18 years old. I'd be about. Ice right, is right there, Gary. You got to break it up, though. Okay. Gary, right there. I'll, I know where the gas is at. Okay. You know not to fill those up. Uh, the Coke, when you go get the Coke, it's in the refrigerator. It's a 20 ounce. I bought it your last time. It's called preparing. Uh, are you planning on just staying in Southern? Or you got, just, I mean, it's a job. You got, what, if, 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 what do you say at Logan's? They're like, what are you going to do if this shuts down? I'm like, I come here at 4 o'clock, pull on the door. If it opens, I go to work. If it's not, I go to Chili's. I mean, um, well, the whole thing about it is you learned a lot of stuff, though. Hadn't you? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Well, yeah. you good thing about something this first kitchen I ever worked in. That was always on the other side of the room. Yeah, always. Yeah, I'm uh, wondering why you really took that leap. I get it's hard to work, and I did it well. well. You did too. Uncertain money, like you make a shit ton or you don't make well, any. Well, see, my whole plan was just to work Southern until my ABC card got reinstated, <laughs> yeah. and then in the process, I got custody of my kids. Okay, so you needed, you needed uh, better money. Well, not just that, being a single dad in the bar lot. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock in the know, morning. Yeah. It, it don't work. It don't worry. Uh, mm. So I never really had to cross that bridge, but I could see where that really, you know, I, I've asked women, you know, they're like, and I'm struggling. I'm like, you know, why don't you get a job marching? And they're like, oh, I got two kids. And it's hard, yeah. man. I mean, and, and I, this is something I really don't get. Why there's not second shift daycare? Ah. I've never understood, and I might need to capitalize on that market, <laughs> but there is nowhere you can drop your kids off from 3 to 11. If you work second shift, right. you just got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, uh, not everybody works on the yeah, and not everybody, you know, not everybody has family that can watch the kids. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, I even, even at Southern, like, I was blessed. If it wasn't for my mom and Cindy's ex-husband yeah. and past Peter yeah. that helped me out watching my kids, I would have been screwed. Yeah, and people yeah. don't understand it. I had an excellent support system and help. And see, a lot of people don't. And, yeah. you know, they call the dad and they're like, well, you know, can you at least watch the kid? Why? And they're like, no. And, but they don't pay child support, but they're not going to watch the kid. Right, I mean, right. Yeah, so, one or the other. I mean, <laughs> you know, if you watch the kid, well, we ain't worried about, the, you know, the child support. But I just don't understand. There's a lot more second shift going on. There's a lot more split shifts. Like, uh, last night I went to get Hunter's Medicine, and it was on Broad Street, you know, the 24-hour yes. place. They're only place open, and uh, I went and got it, and the girl works from 2 in the afternoon till 2 in the morning. I mean... That's literally a bar shift. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. that literally is a bar shift. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, most of them go in at 4 or 5, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. It's tough. It's a tough world, man. And, it, oh, yeah. you know, uh, Derek and Alyssa are going through that, like, but, Brooklyn don't, you know, they're like... It'd be easier for Alyssa to stay home than pay daycare. Than pay daycare, and, and I don't understand like, where they get these prices. Like, oh yeah, I mean, three hundred dollars for one week of keeping a kid. That's yeah, cool. I mean, so you're gonna go to work and make fifty bucks. Yeah. After you pay daycare, you're gonna make fifty dollars. Well, What's the point? And another thing is that there needs to be some kind of insurance for that, like, like child care. You know, because I see some of this child care that's with low income people. There's no way my kid would ever walk into those places. <laughs> Motherfuckers are sleeping shit, like kids just running around. Yeah. Like, Hell no. Oh, you kids yeah. Are. yeah. It's I okay, mean, I think. I, okay, I don't really care about, I get the, I don't really care about free health care because I don't go to the doctor anyways. So. But free child care should be a thing. The state should step in and be like, hey, you want people to work? You know, hey, give them an out. I mean, luckily, you got lucky. Lucky you know, like people I said, don't get that. Well, yeah. Between my mom and my dad and my brother-in-law, Peter, I mean, my sister, Linda, oh, yeah. they, I had an excellent support system. 
Right. They still play. Mom, they still play. Not bingo? a lot of people have that luxury. Dude, my mom will play bingo until the day she dies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't you have to drive them once? To yeah, Kentucky? I mean, I'm driving to Alabama. No, Alabama. Oh, it's not, it used to be Kentucky, wasn't yeah, it? it? Used to be. Yeah, it used to be Kentucky. Now she goes to Gaston, Alabama. Or well, actually, I'm sorry. Cindy lives in Gaston, Alabama. Oh, uh, okay. It's in Steele, Alabama, that she goes to play bingo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the day you told me you're like, yeah, my mom's going to go get her hair done. She's got to go play bingo. I'm just like. Perfect. That's hey, awesome. That's I'm, awesome. I'm telling you, like, I, you worked with me for years at Fireside. Yeah. Okay. There was times I would get home from the bar from working, <laughs> yeah. and my mom still wasn't home from bingo. God. <laughs> hey, and, man, the streets are so. I love roulette and gambling. So yeah, you know, I get it. it. No, no. And you know, think about it. It's like my mom is uh, 92 years old. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still going, like. <laughs> Still going. Get, I get, get the band, morning. let's go. Growing up, we called her the Energizer Bunny. Yeah. Cause she's like, go to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning, up by 6.30 in the morning, like ready to go and get at it. Cooking breakfast? I, I had seven sisters and one brother. One sister and one brother has passed. Are you and that's cowboy, right? Were you like the yeah. last yeah. one born or something? Is that the one yeah. that worked oh, with I, Dude, I was the baby baby. Okay, okay. Right. was that? Red, slim. Redneck, Red, of, Redneck was uh, my sister Barbara's husband. Okay. Right. Did he pass? Yes. And Cowboy has, right? Yeah. Okay. So right. You a you get? I mean, I've worked Eight. with I've worked with a lot of your family. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Lived with some of your family. I mean, <laughs> I mean we we've had a long history. Yeah. We have. Imagine, and it's weird that I've known him. You know, I met you in what oh three. Oh four, oh four, oh five, yeah, yeah, oh four, oh five, something yeah. like that. Yeah. You didn't have a license when I met you. Yeah, he got suspended for. Yeah. We're not wearing a seatbelt. And we met in 99, so for us to I'm sure that, know, you know, I'm sure that, you know. Well, there was a little period where he didn't drink and he wasn't much fun. Yeah. yeah. I had to clean myself up. You didn't really drink when no. I first met you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, on the rock. I'll see what I do now. <laughs> see what I do to people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the rock. I just like that better. Straight. Yeah, that was really good. I, think I like it better straight too. A little bit. I liked it on the rocks. It's not bad on the rocks. I mean, but uh, but it almost felt like I was drinking water. We had like yeah, yeah. well, it's kind of dousing it with water because the ice melts yeah. and Gary don't bring it over and we start talking. Everybody does it. All right. Uh, before we get into this cola and Gary puts more ice in these in these last cups, uh, Chicago <laughs> Bulls. Yep. Always, I'm always going to rip the Bulls. Cubs. Bulls, Cubs, and then I'm off Eagles, the wall. Eagles, yeah. <laughs> that, you know, well, you know, Gary's all, Gary's all Boston except for the, you well, don't like the no, Patriots. But let me explain to you this. Like, you like the Blackhawks? Yeah. But, but I'm, that, right? I am the biggest fair weather hockey fan you'll ever meet in your life. I don't. You like me with basketball? I like going to hockey games. Go ahead, well, to, by the way. To, Come on. Yeah. To keep up with hockey I, and be interested in hockey, the Blackhawks have to be good. Yeah, and they the were. They were winning every. Hey, they got the number, the number one pick this year. Yeah, so, uh, a bunch of shit about it. Up. Yeah. They were giving it a bunch of shit about that, saying yeah. it was rigged. Just, <laughs> I don't know. They said it was their turn to get the first pick or something. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't get stuff like that, but. Uh, oh, well, how about the Spurs? Uh, they, I, yeah, but they've been in mediocrity for a long time, and they're pretty know, bad. I'm just saying, like, I, I know, really, I really, really wanted the, the Dallas in the world. to get that. Just because I like Luka Doncic, and when uh, when uh, see, I guess when Durant leaves, Luka will probably be my favorite. See, it's player. funny because it's really weird because we're like completely opposite when it comes. Because like, I can't stand Durant. I think he's the softest, <laughs> I can't stand the Durant. biggest baby player in the NBA. Like, everybody rides on do, LeBron do you remember, for doing this. Do you remember when I went to okay. Comcast? And got all the Texas, and we want and I put it at, put it at Fireside. Yeah. We watched him. I watched him in McDonald's All American Games. I watched him. Yeah, I mean, no, you've been at the Rant yeah. fans since day yeah. one. Like I'm not, I'm not. You're like, that, why are we but... watching Texas basketball? I was like, that's my favorite player. <laughs> and, and Tennessee fans, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're feeling this too. The Rick Barnes effect. He cannot coach in the tournament. He's regular season Rick. He sucks in the tournament. He had Avery Bradley. Uh, DJ Augustine and Kevin Durant oh, wow. on the same team and couldn't even get to the Final Four. Couldn't even get to the Final Four. Yeah. And um, he had LaMarcus Aldridge a year before. As a matter of fact, I mean... He... Now, he did get beat by Kevin Love and Russell Westbrook when they were at UCLA, UCLA. so that, those are two that, that good ones. That was a good team. Yeah, that was a good team. That was a damn good team. But they didn't win yeah. it. 
Ooh, they won. You can't. Westbrook has nothing. Does he got any? Did he play on any Olympic teams? Does he got any gold medals or anything? I, that might be it. I mean, like you know, that's like Carmelo. He's like, I leave with no regrets. He went to. He just gouged them in New York. Well, Melo won a national championship. So I know, but I, and he won some gold medals. Yeah. But like, when he went to the Knicks, he it really. It, and I don't know if it changed the scenery because when it differed, he was a baller. Yeah. He had nothing yeah. else. There was no, yeah. yeah. I mean, he goes to the Knicks and he's like, fuck it, I'll just take the money. Yeah. And then they brought Carmelo and then they brought in Stoudemire. And yeah. That was a total flush. Tyree really would have got one without LeBron. Yeah, well, he's got one. Yeah, he's got one. But at the same time, does LeBron get he one without he him? Yeah. Without Tyree. Yeah. LeBron's not going to get another ring. No. Unless LeBron might not ever hey, play again. If he hey, goes to Phoenix, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he he if he goes to the Suns, he might get one. I mean, if LeBron's going to play again, I mean, if he does, if he does another decision, I will throw, I will uh, kill him. Okay, but here's the thing about it is, and, and oh, I'm getting Brady. I'm look, 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 This is oh, this no, is this play. is funny because back in the Cleveland days, I was the guy that was like LeBron, and this guy over here was like LeBron, and then the decision happened, and he's like, and I'm kind of opposite, dude. I hate it like so. Bad. I don't blame LeBron for the decision, but it's like he's kidding that. ESPN man. is just as much to blame for the I decision know. as okay, LeBron. And I get that. The thing he I don't like about LeBron. Is he destroys franchises? He does, and then he leaves. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, Miami's back. Yeah, but they had it took them a while. Cleveland's just now getting back into the playoffs. He goes and he demands all this the stuff, Lakers, and then if it don't go his way, he leaves. At least Durant just he's just he's like, hey, I don't need nothing else. I'll just go well, to you. But you know why? You know why Durant don't destroy franchises? Because he hops on ready built franchises. <laughs> well, he's not got one right now. Yeah. He don't have one right now. He needs to go to the Nuggets next year. He's well, a free agent. He, yeah, but you know the Nuggets. You know uh, they got older. He's holding out to see if they get LeBron. Melted and, and, and this, LeBron it, ain't leaving the Lakers, y'all. He will be. Yeah, he already. LeBron's said, not leaving the Lakers no, until Bronny's in the league. He's not leaving. And the I thing mean, is, is Chris Paul's a free agent. There's a good chance he'll be a Laker. He should have been that. a Laker to start with. Remember, uh, he signed as a Laker, and they're like, no, but you can go to the Clippers. No, that was that trade that the NBA vetoed. Yeah, they when said the NBA owned the Pel the the was it were they the Pelicans? Yeah, the Pelicans. At the time. And they're like, you can you can't they go to the Lakers, but you can go to the Clippers for Aaron Gordon and some yeah. draft picks. I'll tell you this: because if, if Chris Paul goes to the Lakers, they're not going to win. Mm, He's too old, now, man. Yeah. Healthy Anthony Davis. If he can't win, yeah, he a, a sixty-eight game Anthony Davis. Then you know workload. That shit is the stupidest if, shit. If you can't win. Charles Barkley said, said, "Look, if I went and told my coach I couldn't play, he goes, I, they don't. They get paid even when they get yeah when they do the workload. He they didn't get paid back in the day. That's why they played eighty two games if they could. If you can't win with Durant and Booker, you can't win with freaking AD and freaking uh, yeah. But okay, now 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 I mean, here we are. I'm going to defend Durant on this podcast when I'm not even a fan of it. Right, but yeah, with Kobe, man. But they, they also had no chemistry there. Mm -hmm. He came on late, and uh, I really didn't like that. That was no. not good. No. no. It was not neat coke, people. No. 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 <laughs> no. Totally agree. Yeah. Totally uh, agree. No. Uh, I mean, there's certain players that can not play with really people. Yeah. Like, everybody thinks that LeBron's going to the Warriors. That's just not going to happen. Because no. that would just be a travesty. But is the Warriors dynasty open? No. Yeah. No. I mean, it's not easy. Yeah, the dynasty, nice. yes, but they'll still make playoffs and stuff. I don't think they'll win. Now Curry's not going to stay around if they can't win. Yeah, that was not good. Um, all right. Can we start it first? Yeah. All right. I got need. I got a four through one. I'm not going to need. It's not bad at all. So, like I said, it's a little bit of a burn to start off with. Kind of get to know who's it is. Uh, and I, they, hey, before we go any further, this is not under fifty bucks. It's like fifty four ninety nine. Uh, we did a tasting on it. The bottle was free, so we decided we'd do it because we hadn't had a bullet product on here. But it's not much over, so it's not well, much I over. Three point eight, man. It knocked it down a little bit. I don't. I'm too many on the rocks. Cola, you don't need it on that. So I, mean, I got a three point zero. I ended up with a ten nine. So, uh, middle of the road. I'm gonna give it. Go ahead, Charles. I had a 4.3 on neat. Like yeah, I said, I don't drink good. bourbon, and it was really smooth, and it tasted good. The Rocks, 3.8. It, it the Rocks kind of killed it. And then Cola, I just gave it a 2.9. And that's, actually, that's probably giving it a lot of credit, <laughs> if you ask yeah. me. Because 
that was not that was not good. Yeah, eleven total. All right. I got a three point eight on neat. That was good. I went the other way. I went four point two on the rocks because I liked it better on the rocks. Uh, then I gave it three point zero on cola. I gave it an eleven. <laughs> eleven, eleven, and ten nine. That, yeah. We're all pretty close. Uh, we highly recommend neat. Yeah. If you do buy it, do it neat or on the rocks. Do not do it with cola. Yeah, no cola. Uh, it, Don't cola. If, if you're a Bullet fan and you hadn't had it, it's worth the purchase. There's, uh, I think, 10 Cup 10 years a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's some 10 years out there that are a little bit better, but this one's not a bad one. If it's you're a, a Bullet fan, drink. if it's a Bullet fine. fan and you're, you know, Father's Day is coming up, hit them with a, hey, give me a Bullet 10, yeah. you know. It's a good but, drink. And if you want to just have it on yourself, it's worth it. I mean, you can just pour it anytime, time, and yeah, just don't do it with cup. Yeah. But, no. Uh, no. Back to this Eagles thing. I have to take that Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts should have been the MVP. I know he probably wouldn't have took it with the loss, but there's been losing players before winning the MVP. Uh, yeah, but you know what? I, just, I totally disagree with that. Totally disagree with that. I, I understand Jalen Hurts had a great game, but the MVP belongs to a winner. And I'm, I'm sorry. Who was the one at that MVP? That Mahomes? I mean, Mahomes. They threw for like, a hundred, <laughs> like 205 <laughs> yeah. yards or something. I mean, it, it was a team effort, and they really played well. Uh, uh, I, I was I was totally disimpressed with the defense. That was like that was the total that letdown. Was the year, the first year, or the second year, whenever the the uh, Warriors beat the when they had Durant the back to back. Yeah. The second one, LeBron James was the best player on the floor. He was averaging like thirty oh, yeah. some points, yeah. six rebound or eight rebounds, three or nine, seven, eight assists. I mean. But he wouldn't have took that. He'd be like, get no. that shit away from me. But I mean, I don't know. He's pretty stupid. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked for this year, like, for the Eagles. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my god. Well, and they took that quarterback sneak away, the Jalen Hurts play. They did that just. Yeah, that's the Eagles rule, buddy. That I mean, that, that's really Jalen Hurts. Now, rule, now you got the Philadelphia Bulldogs. The Philadelphia Bulldogs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey man, I mean Alabama on offense, they, Georgia on defense. They, 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 yeah, I mean it, it's just SEC. How do you, how do you argue that? I mean, no, it's I mean Devontae it's Smith. Uh, uh, you want to give Hurts credit for being Landon Alabama? Landon Dickinson. I mean, so Jalen Hurts. I mean, he was at Alabama. And Georgia's. I mean, Georgia's defense the last couple yeah, years has been, been stout. You know, yeah, I mean, uh, Alabama's running back at the Lions too. No, Gibbs. Uh, Jamar Gibbs. 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 I, I, I don't. We'll see how that goes. Football, I like I like I like Gibbs, but that might the be Lions, one. that yeah. was definitely a a reach. That was, might be a one. Yeah. That might be my number one pick. Yeah, he, he's horrible in running. Oh back. wait, are you number? You have the number one pick. No, my my. What happened? I'm not uh, I think one, one. You you got. I don't know. I had to. Do I'm it. not saying because I mean you have I like, to take. I if like you Ryan have Brown. the number one pick, you have to take by John Roberts. There you go. Like there there's no argument there. What did he do? Atlanta, wow. Philadelphia, like two know. running backs went in the top twelve. Like, are we back in the nineties? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is what I like these court running backs. I had uh, Yeah, that, that's Swift. Right? This is my favorite story about you. When you were in school, you had that Curtis Enos jersey, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody used and everybody used to put a P on the back. That is literally the reason why I'm not a fucking Bears fan. <laughs> Where do you go, uh, Penn State? They, they draft, yeah, yeah, but he went but to the But they went them years of drafting Enos and uh, Salon. John, yeah, and, uh, uh, David Terrell yeah. and fucking Cade McNabb. They took Cade McNabb in the draft that McNabb went. Uh, they took, uh, what was the guy that played at West Virginia, Kevin White? Oh, Kevin White. Yeah, the, that, that was that supposed was, to be, because he really, I mean, West Virginia really played out. He, I mean, that was the number D. Milner and Greg, or D. Milner and Marlon Humphrey covered him, and he scorched them. You know what I mean? He, he, I mean, he couldn't get on the field. He couldn't step. Yeah, he, he couldn't stay. Yeah, yeah. He showed up, showed, up, showed, up, stayed, showed up 40 pounds overweight and all that. Yep. I, I'm glad the NFL's got the rookie thing where you don't have to pay them up front. You get a little bit out of them a little bit. But you know, the, the rookie you mean, scale for the, the rookie picks, scale, you know, yeah. Lamar Jackson uh, I'm not giving paid, Jamarcus man. Russell. Hey, hey, look, you can say what you want to about Lamar Jackson. He, but he, he, he bet on himself, and he won. Yeah. I think so. Um, he turned down contract after contract. contract. He refused yeah. to hire an agent, and at the end of the day, he's the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, for now. By himself, but it don't matter. Him By and, himself. Him and Dak Prescott both bet on themselves, and they're getting paid. Jalen you know, Hurts uh, having an all female. That's that's amazing. And, you, know, you know, that's I'm not, not a, Lamar Jay. I'm definitely into Lamar Jay. You know, yeah. Lamar is with Lamar. I mean, you get what you get with him. You're never going to get like. He reminds me of Edron James with the Colts. He's not going to cut his hair. 
He's not going to do what you want him to do. He don't get endorsements, all but that. At, he don't do a lot of at, tough. At the same time, he just wants to play football. And, but I mean, he wouldn't go out there. He didn't go out there and play last year because he didn't have contract. <laughs> like, and I, I don't know if it was Lamar Jackson or if it's. Drink the that up. We'll do one more on the bro. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Shotgun. That dude's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, you got ordinary. Where's your beer at, Gary? It's over there on the thing. He's like so depressed. Yeah. It's back there over there. The well, you walked in with him, he was like, I thought you told me you were bringing Bud Light. That's what I said. <laughs> like, oh, I it is Pride here. Month, so I could do that for you. I mean, uh, you all my gay friends. I love you guys. Man. Yeah, he does. Who is your morning? Do you know? Yeah. I mean, I got a gay daughter. Oh, I'm not gay. So. Yeah, he is. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, next week, we're having our first gay. Ducky will be here next week. Really? Fuck yeah, yeah man. Like, I didn't tell you about that? No. No, Ducky. He's a gay friend. I love oh, Ducky. Okay. Ducky's freaking awesome. Speaking dude. of that, how, have you, do you yeah, know Zach see, anymore? Uh, Zachary. Zach. Zach. Oh, Zach. Oh, Zach. Oh, yeah. Zach. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, he works downtown. He's kind of a downtown guy. I saw him at Smart Bank once. I was going in to cash my check. And it was like, we'd never seen each other. I even said hi to him and everything. Kind of went in for a hug and he's like, kind of. Sure named it the chick that you stand up there a lot and stuff. No, the big girl that. Reed? Reed, yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? Have you seen her? No, I think she lives in Florida. Oh, look, this guy had to do it on the rocks because it was his favorite. No, I just poured it in there. It was just in the glass. You could have poured your rocks out. That's good. You might get a Marasa. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Actually, now I will say this much. He might have been right. That was actually better, better. than what we had yeah. okay. during the that first fair. time. Shotgun Sunday! I wanna do this, man. Yeah. I hate Shotgun Sunday, man. Because yeah. I used to get it all over my head. Yeah, you, you signed up for it, though. I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> what was that? What movie was that in? <laughs> Sign up for this shit. shit. I'm too old for this shit. I'm too old for this shit. Here you go. Yeah, uh, 48 hours. You ready? No. Well, uh, get ready. Yeah. I almost have to take my shirt off. Take your shirt Whoa. off, buddy. Get Whoa. naked. I'm not going to. Yeah, that bud light coming out. I got this guy with a knife. He was talking about taking his yeah, shirt yeah, off. I'm not going to be able to finish it. But... Oh, you're going to be able to. No, I'm not going to. You ready? Come over it's here. Like, what? Do it. Hit the tank, it spewed me last time. Like that? Like that? Here, yeah. put your mouth over it, Gary. You're wasting it. Pop it, open. Pop it open. Now turn your head, there you go. <laughs> it ain't cold this time, so it's gonna be easy. Ugh. This could take forever. It's the smallest hole ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says to all his boyfriends. Like I'm sucking on a nipple Here, right Turn now. it around. <laughs> it won't spew. Um, I feel like I'm sucking on a nipple right now. Uh, go, there you go. Uh, don't touch him out. Oh, it's hot. I can't go back. Keep a little bit more and you're done. Okay. Yeah, you go. You just tilt your head back. That's what's the problem. Uh, no. Oh, it's, it's fucking hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. All right, you say like that. God almighty. Oh, uh, Gary, I love you, buddy. I love you, too, but fuck that, man. Hey, this, this week I'm, I'm really going to order you. Hey, if anybody out there has a funnel, bring it to us. Yeah. He, we're going to start funneling. This shotgun's just getting too messy. Wait, a funnel? Like... Funnel. Like a beer bottle? Yeah, yeah. Hell's beer. We're going back to we're going, we're going back to like old school. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Man, I remember when I was a teenager. Oh, man, this oh, oh. shotgun. They done a beer funnel on a beer, and uh, I got cocky and was like, I can do yeah. that. I can do that. And I was like, go ahead and pour two of them oh. in there. No offense to sweet water. It's oh, a really good beer. It's just I would have preferred it to be a little bit cold. Let's we'll see. So good. Yeah, blame it on Gary. Yeah. I will. <laughs> Right, uh, uh, we're gonna say our goodbyes. I'm gonna sit over here. Uh, Charlie, thanks for doing the show, man. Oh, no I'm, uh, I'm oh, serious yeah. about oh, yeah. this southern restaurant thing. 
hey, they need your help, and they're a good people, and they do a lot for the community. Yeah, come right and down, just man. go and go. You don't have to go every day. They got once a week, coffee, once a month, twice a month. Uh, yeah. They're good people. Uh, Fred, 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 Fred gets there every morning at two o'clock in the morning. He's an owner, Fred yeah. It starts, yeah. And, and Grady, he's he is amazing. a hands-on owner. Like we literally have to be like, Fred, go home. Yeah. Please go home. You're killing yourself. Uh, and he's still in there, like <laughs> just going ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good, man. You know, it, you know working, owners, working owners, working owners are a rare breed. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, I, I mean, you know, I got the people that work you know, own the not, liquor I mean, store, and they're in there too. I mean, they're in there selling liquor just like I am, and it's a good thing. You man. know, I've, wor I've worked for multiple people, and like, he's not just an owner that's there. Yeah. Like he's an owner, and he's hands on, and you know. It's like an act of Congress to try to get him that's to do a good thing. But that's Fred, go out to the office. Go sit down. Yeah, do something. You know, sit down until hey, we need get, uh, get a bigger bathroom. I hate that bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels like you're at home, man. I'm just like, all right, well, I got to do the dishes. I need to eat. But, uh, well, I mean, uh, it's been there for like 35 yeah, years. Yeah, it really has. I mean, I mean it, you know? it's a great place. and uh, They're great people, and they'll take good care of you. Uh, don't forget to tip, too, man. If you go out to eat, and people wait on you, and I mean, service is bad, give a bad tip. Service is good, give a good tip. I mean, but, but I got, but I do have to say something here when it comes to like service and stuff. If your food takes a long time to come out, that's that not, is not on your server. Yeah, that's not on your server. Like, thank you guys for doing That's yeah. not on your server at all. That that that's yeah. literally on the kitchen. And if you're like if your servers, like trust me, stay, trust me, the servers back there <laughs> cussing yeah. out the kitchen. Like, oh, where's my food at? If, if the I server, I mean, if the food life. takes too long out, or the food's not right, they have nothing to do with that, man. If your tea gets empty, okay, that's on them. <laughs> <laughs> but if your eggs are not scrambled enough, that's not their fault, man. They just put your order in. I mean, once that happens, you know, it's just like a liquor store. I mean, certain things don't come in. Distributors are out, man. If they don't have it, we don't have it. I mean, it sucks, but it's the way it is. But man. that's 2023 right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, like, everything's you, on everything, you know, yeah. A, you you can order whatever you want to, but you're, yeah. you're gonna get what's on that <laughs> <Yeah>. truck. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. But uh, a great place to eat. Great people. They're all personable. Uh, they're not go there and get the cornbread sticks. Go there for lunch. Go there for breakfast. I mean, it's great. Uh, it's one of my favorite places. This is my favorite place for breakfast. Period. Oh, it's hands down. But uh, everything's good there. Everything's made from scratch. There's really no can. No. And if you if you think they don't have a choice in size. What is it like 17 choices? Wow. We have way too many. Applesauce, <laughs> bento bean, white bean, <laughs> turnip, I mean, green. turnip green, it's green bean. I mean, but we it, have way too many. Yeah, and, then, they, and then Kelly, Fred's wife, she makes these salads like sauerkraut salad and cucumber oh, yeah. salad. Wow. She's right. always trying to uh, make the something. The desserts look good. I've never had one there, but. They always they always have them in the case and they look great. Uh, man, we got this bro, like we got this grilled you know, three layer chocolate pie that we just fucking made. It, it does look good. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get out of here, Charlie. Appreciate you being no here, man. Yeah, yeah. Good time. Gary, appreciate you being here, not in the woods. Always. Man. Next time, make sure you get the light plugged up, Gary. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> a little attention to detail, Gary. I'm saving my dress. No, you're not. You're saving me. I'm like, you, you wanted to eat. Oh, you didn't want to have to reach down. Yeah, okay. dude, my back hurts. Uh, yeah, whatever, dude. You're like, you only bitch about your back or being old when you want to be. Dude, y'all seriously missed your role in Grumpy Your Old Man. I know. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, I, I got married. He didn't. Oh, you, uh, you would be walking that guy. No. I'd be, uh, I'd be, uh, what's your name, Lemon? Jack no, I'm Jack Lemon. I'll be walking that guy. You're the Rota. All right. Rota! <laughs> Love y'all. Good night. Love you guys, man. <laughs> See you next time.